Okay, now we are going to discuss another concept, which is the concept of power dissipated in a resistor. Okay? Uh, we, you know that you have a wire, conducting wire, you connect it to a power, a power, a battery with potential V, you create an electric field inside the wire, which is in this direction, of course, the electric field. The electrons start moving in the opposite direction, okay? Electrons, they are moving, and you have a current, I. The flow of positive charges and the electrons are moving in the other way. We can represent this by this diagram here, schematic diagram. This is the resistance, okay? You put a wire like this and R. This is the symbol of the resistance, okay? This is the symbol for resistance, R. Remember, the symbol for capacitance was like this. This is C, this is V, and this is now R. So we have three symbols now, okay, in electricity. Later we will introduce other symbols if, we have, uh, if, if they, they, they exist, okay? Otherwise, these are the three symbols that we will be using uh, for these sections. Uh, so, when electrons flow across the conducting wire, they collide with the atoms. We said that they are big atoms and they are very small. They collide with the atoms of the material and lose kinetic energy. Okay? Uh, this energy appears as heat in the wire. If you touch the wire with your hand, you find that it is hot. That's because the electrons are losing. So when they lose energy, they come here to the resist to the, the battery. They take energy from here. They the chemical energy is converted into into uh, into a kinetic energy of motion, and they start moving here. They lose that energy here, part of it uh, through the collisions. They come here to the battery and they get energy again, and so on. And this process goes on until the battery. Uh, but of course, the battery will lose energy because it's giving its energy, chemical energy, to to the electron. So the battery is losing energy, and that's why uh, when you use a battery in the flashlight or in, in uh, yeah, in, uh, in a, uh, it loses energy, you can, you can replace it, you have to replace it later, okay? Buy a new battery and replace it. So we have, so this, uh, the rate, the rate of energy loss, the rate of energy, we, can, we saw it dissipated, we call it, dissipated or lost in the conductor, we call it P, is equal actually to I times V, the current times the voltage applied, okay? The more voltage you apply, the more power you lose. The more current is in your circuit, the more power you lose. You lose it as heat, huh? it appears as, as heat. It's lost, of course, huh? this is lost. Unfortunately, it is lost because, of, because the wire has a resistance. Of course, if you don't want to lose, you have to use a superconductor here in, in, if you don't want to lose uh, any energy. And the resistance of our superconductor will be zero. But we are not talking about that here. We're talking about normal conducting wires, okay? This equation here, you can write it differently if you, by using Ohm's law. Uh, I equal V over R. So you can, V squared would be V squared over R. And you can use it uh, another equation here by replacing V equal I R, you get I squared R. So you have three different equations. I, I said I squared R, and I wrote uh, on the board I R, but actually it should be I squared R. For the power dissipated in the in in in, in, the, in your uh, conducting wire or in the in your resistance, okay? And the SI units, of course, for this uh, power is is uh, what, okay? Which is uh, energy joules over seconds, because we're talking about rate. You see here. Uh, it says uh, uh, the um, the electron. This is the, the uh, this is the power dissipated. It's, it's rate of energy you see here. The rate of energy is dissipated. Okay, so it is it is uh, uh, energy over time. Eh? Energy over time will give you the power. Okay, the power dissipated, and it 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 is it's either I V or V squared over R or I R, depending on what what you are given in your problem. Uh, when you are solving uh, problems related to these uh, concepts here of energy, uh, of uh, power dissipated. Let me uh, give you two examples here, just a conceptual example, to, just to illustrate, is to see if you understand what we are talking about here. Uh, we have a light bulb, okay, 
and that light bulb is connected it has a resistance r1 the wire of course the wires in the light bulb are, are made of materials called tungsten okay tungsten and tungsten will glow when it becomes hot you know it becomes hot okay uh, because of the, the collisions of the electrons with the atoms uh, uh, it becomes hot it becomes hot and it glows and it gives you the light in the room Okay, so we have here R1, and this, you go and buy it from the, sh it's, it's, it says 100 watt, okay, 100 watt power, okay, and you have another light bulb here, next to it, okay, another light bulb, it has a resistance R2, and you can connect it to, both of them, you can connect them to 110 volt, okay, 110 volt, that's the voltage you can apply to this, two light bulbs but this one here has a power of 50 uh, of 40 watt let's say yeah 40 watt okay so my question is which which of them has higher resistance or low okay which which bulb has higher higher resistance r okay higher r that, that that's the question well, uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I think by looking at the numbers, you say this is 100 watt, then this may be this is a higher resistance. I'm looking for the higher R, huh? and this is a 40 watt lower resistance. This is what you might think, huh? but uh, uh, actually uh, you have to look at these equations here and decide which one to use to discuss this conceptual problem, which one you are going to use. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm given the power, I'm going the power, and I'm given also the voltage, V. And I'm looking for the resistance. So I think, I think you should use this equation here. Okay? So power is equal V squared over R. I cannot use this equation here because I, I am given the voltage, but I'm not asking about the current. I'm asking, I'm asking about which bulb has higher resistance. Okay, so I have to go, I cannot use this equation here because I don't know the current in, one, in, in each one of them. So I use the equation here because I know the power, I know the voltage, I have only one unknown. So I can discuss now because I, the resistance is the unknown. And you can see that the power for a fixed voltage, the power is inversely proportional to the resistance. Which means higher power, lower resistance. Okay, so it means from here that R1 is less than R2. Okay, this is very important. The resistance here, even because it has higher power, resistance has to be smaller than the resistance here. Very important here. Eh? So the question is, which one has a higher, higher resistance? So R2, uh, this one will have a higher resistance. Okay, you can say R2 is greater than R1. That's important point now the, the now if you can ask another question you say which one has a higher current so which one the first question was which one has a higher r number two which one which one has has higher current higher current okay the question so now where which equation you have to go to discuss of course you go to this equation here see Right? Why is that? Because I know I know the power and I know V. I have only one unknown, okay? I have only one unknown, which is the current. So what do you think? V is constant in both of them. So higher power, higher current. So so which one has a higher current? It will be R1. So bulb number one. So R1. So bulb number one. Bulb one. I'm calling this bulb one, okay? Bulb one. And this is bulb two. Bulb 2, okay? So bulb 1 has higher current. Why is that? Because it has higher power for the same voltage. V is constant. So the one which has higher power has a higher current. Why is that? Again, because it has lower resistance, remember? Eh? The resistance here is lower than the resistance here. So lower resistance, higher current. You see? Lower resistance, R1 is lower, it has higher current. So bulb number 1 has a higher current. Very important concept to understand, my son, here, regarding the power dissipated in a resistor. Uh, you have to select, when you have a problem like this, where you have to, conceptual questions, you have to select the, the correct uh, 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 formula to make your discussion uh, uh, correct. Thank you.